it's a mini circular saw it's from works the model is WX 420 it looks like this everything is inside so it can cut to 27 millimeters in depth that's how much the blade is exposed on the lower side it has a laser which points to the front it has this bottom plate which moves up and down it's corded so there are no batteries it has three cutting blades it can cut metal plastics wood ceramics and uh, ceramics <laughs> it has a dust port for the vacuum cleaner three meters is the length of the cable the different surfaces ceramics metal it has a v-shaped adapter for cutting pipes it has a distance keeper for cutting wood it has the laser here in the front and you can make holes so-called plunge cuts 400 watts is the power works VersaCut WX 420 designed in Germany and made in China here is some more text in more languages it's designed for one-handed operation the base is retractable it moves up and down the depth of the cut is adjustable the laser beam for accuracy so that you can see where it will cut and there is a metal blade guard that base is metal and is protected by a plastic part also this was lugged in this openings also ok so let's open it just pull it up that's inside of the box it has a manual in that many languages Here we have the small batteries for the laser and these are the discs it says 85 millimeters so the diameter is eight and a half centimeter batteries for the laser LR44H So these are the blades, the battery, it has this adapter for the vacuum cleaner, smaller diameter and larger diameter. This is not okay for my vacuum cleaner, my vacuum cleaner has a smaller diameter. It has this plastic for pipes, so you place the pipe inside and the blade will come out from this opening and it will cut it off. It has this distance keeper and the tool itself. So it looks like this. It has some keys here. Cable is pretty soft. 220 volts AC. That's the depth adjustment you have to pull it down to unlock it and you can move it let's say up there 21 24 and 27 millimeters this bottom plate the plastic is removable you just have to pull it out a little bit the cutting is done here that's where the blade is currently it has a paper blade inside these are the buttons you cannot push down this button until you move that red one so move that one and then you can use this this is also blocking the front portion so like so it's not moving the depth is also blocking it so if I move it let's say there and open it from here then it's stopping there if I move it all the way up and lock it open it from here this is also blocking that portion then it goes all the way up and the blade is exposed of course this blade is paper and it's smaller in diameter okay so pull down the red one and then pull the on off switch since it's clicking the speed is not adjustable the blade is rotating to the left the arrow is here that's the laser on the top it has an on off 
button so there's no support here in the front from where it rotates but it rotates on these wheels so let's use the larger one as is visible here unlocking is done to the right so insert it and rotate it to the right to unlock it that's the screw it has a washer then there is this component and the blade comes out let's try this one which has teeth so it has to rotate to the left so not like so but with the text towards you this way it will not cut with the teeth but with the back side and in this way it will cut with the teeth so you have to push it down then you can add this element and to lock it rotate it to the left like so it's rotating so use the next one which is smaller and there's the other screw insert it there hold it from this one and rotate this to the left and that's it this has an opening here so you can actually see where are you cutting you can see the blade and you can see the line on your material also if you have one so here where my finger is you can see outside and the tools have almost this entire side part covered and you cannot see where the blade is you can see only this triangle okay now let's introduce the battery it has an arrow here so push this small element to the front and open it it has a small thread there a textile material so after you open it take a look at these two signs here the smaller side of this battery has to be on the left side and the smaller side which is the negative of this battery has to be on the right side make sure that cord is pulled out straight like this and push it down with the battery so that's the small side and that's the large side with the text so the text has to be on the right in this case and push it in and the text of the battery has to be on the left side smaller side to the right so one is in one direction the other is in the other direction like so now you can close that door just push it back and voila we have the laser don't look at that laser this is through the camera So the laser is at this triangle here, that's where the blade is. Now it's plugged in and I just tried it, it has a fan here at the back, the air will blow out here, it's totally covered, so I'm not going to open it like so, so just pull down the red like so and press the black. It doesn't have a soft start function. It will move your hand a little bit when you start it. And let's add this distance keeper also. Just insert it here to the front and tighten that screw. The larger one is not good. You need the smaller one. And now it keeps the distance from the side and you can cut. Of course this is taller, it has to go to the side. It does not stay there, it falls down. This side is much heavier, the motor is here. The cable has this large portion. You can insert the tools into these. There's the fan, the white one. Here's a scale, let's measure the weight of this tool, almost 1.9, 1.88 kilos. Now let's remove this one, just pull it from the lower part, so this is on the right side, you cannot put it the other way. The plastic and the hole is at a different height. Okay, now get this one, this has a larger and a shorter part, plus it's also positioned to the right and the end has to enter like so 
To remove it, just pull these plastics out. Two of them. And here's the dust extraction. Just insert this there. You can rotate it. Here is in contact. 